always lived in the sky, you know. They used to live together, husband and wife, in a huge rambling house on the top of a hill in Africa. They were a very friendly couple and always welcomed visitors. They invited the tree to tea and she brought her cousins, the bushes. They invited the rock and he brought his stepchildren, the pebbles. The moon invited her daughters, the stars, to lunch, and they brought along their uncles, the planets. Indeed, the parties at the house on the hill soon became very famous. Moon, said the sun one morning, we've never invited the dew. It's high time we did. So the morning dew was invited to dinner. But I might make your lawn wet said the dew. Oh, don't worry about that. And do bring along your friends and relations, if you like. So the dew arrived in good time for dinner and brought her cousin, the rain. The rain poured down on the hill until it was surrounded by water. I hope you don't mind, said the rain, but I brought along my cousins, the ponds. Delighted to see you all, said the sun, as big ponds and little ponds splashed up the garden path. I hope you don't mind, said the ponds, but we brought along our cousins, the lakes. Pleased you could come, said the moon, as grey lakes and blue lakes, deep lakes and shallow lakes rippled indoors. I hope you don't mind, said the lakes, but we brought along our friends, the rivers. Delighted to meet you all, said the sun, as rushing rivers and sluggish rivers, wide rivers and bending rivers flowed up the stairs. I hope you can all find somewhere to sit. I hope you don't mind, said the rivers, but we brought along our cousins, the estuaries. So nice of you all to come, said the sun and the moon, looking at each other anxiously. Um, make yourselves comfortable. Soon the guests had filled the upstairs as well as the downstairs, and the sun and the moon found themselves sitting on the roof, with water lapping at their feet. I hope you don't mind, said the estuaries, but we brought along our cousins, the oceans. Glug, said the sun. Glug, glug, said the moon, and they floated off into the sky. And there the sun and moon have lived ever since, gazing down on the oceans and the rivers which crowded them out of their house. One day, when the party is over, they might go home. <laughs>